Hello, I'm Lauren Royston. Welcome to Corporate Review. Today we're at one of our uh, Novi companies, Dan Law, and we're going to be speaking with Tom Resnick, the president and COO of Dan Law. Welcome, Tom. Well, thank you, Lauren, and thank you for coming and uh, seeing us. Great. So um, I remember we're coming out here for your grand opening event. It was a wonderful event. But during that event, I learned the history of, of Dan Law, and I thought it was such a great uh, backstory about how the company came to be. And if you could share a little information about the, the history, I thought everyone should hear about that. Oh, great. Yeah, we've uh, been around 30 years in this engineering business, and um, the company was founded in 1984 by two gentlemen, Raju Dandu, the Dan of Dan Law, and Lloyd Lawrence, the Law of Dan Law. Uh, these two guys came together with their experience in an embedded microprocessor work. At that time, the very first microprocessors were very, very simple and they were just starting to become uh, prevalent in automobiles for engine controls and things like that. So they took their talents, put them together, and uh, started the engineering firm. And today we still maintain our automotive focus 30 years later. But of course, technology has progressed quite a, quite a ways since 1984 in this area. Okay, and so how many people you have working for uh, Dan Law? We're, worldwide, we're about uh, 350 people. Great. And um, out of this facility, uh, we have 92. And total U.S., uh, we're about 150. And we also have locations in uh, China, two locations in China, in Fuzhou and Shanghai, and two locations in India, in Hyderabad, India, and Bangalore, India. Okay. And can you just give us like an overview of what's the business of Dan Law? I know you alluded to the automotive business, but I know you have a, a few things that, make, that com, uh, make up components of this company. Yeah, engineering companies can tend to be complex because we do a lot of different things. Our mainstay, though, is automotive electronics and the embedded systems that go into automotive electronics. For example, everything like your, your current infotainment systems and your ability to hook up to your cell phone, um, wirelessly and, and through your own personal cell phone, those are some of the technologies we work on. We have three pillars of the organization. One is the automotive services, where Dan Law provides engineering services directly to tier supplier clients, as well as OEM clients here in southeastern Michigan. And we'll develop code for them or develop systems. We also do testing and validation services for those same customers, where Dan Law is certified to test the vehicle network communications for those companies. So if you're a tier supplier supplying a module to one of the OEMs here, you come to Danlaw and get the, your um, subsystem or module tested. So automotive services, the first pillar. Second pillar we have is uh, tel vehicle telematics. And we make um, small devices that connect the vehicle to data centers. and uh, particularly our data logger, which we manufacture here in the state of Michigan. We brought it all back and manufacture those data loggers right here in the state of Michigan. And we'll see them later on our tour. We um, put those in the vehicles and um, uh, vertical markets such as insurance industry use them for doing discounted insurance programs as well as fleet management companies that want to maintain where their assets are and how they're being used. So the, uh, the third pillar is we are actually a supplier of automotive electronics to the OEM and the tier supplier community through our joint venture in China. Okay, okay so that's the three pillars that make up Dan Law. So when we come back, we're gonna talk more about those pillars, the, the products and the services that are provided by Dan Law. Up, college is hard, down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. Right up so every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future. <laughs> my name is Namdi Asamoah. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. You can be a reader, tutor, or mentor too. Take the pledge at liveunited.org slash volunteer. Do you wear this? Welcome back to Corporate Review. I'm Lauren Royster, still here at Dan Law with President and COO Tom Resnick. And we're going to learn more about the three pillars that make up uh, Dan Law and their business. So, Tom? Yeah, our first pillar we talked about um, was the automotive um, engineering services that we provide. And we provide these services to the tier suppliers and the OEMs 
worldwide. A lot of them are located right here in southeastern Michigan, with m the major research and development centers being here for those tier suppliers and OEMs. Uh, we do things like hardware and firmware development and model-based testing. Uh, vehicle network communications are our um, real forte in this automotive space. If you picture an automobile today, you have 50 to 60 individual computers that are in the vehicle itself, controlling things like the chassis and the powertrain and seating and lighting and the infotainment systems that we are so used to having in our vehicles today. So these, all of these individual computers need to work and play well together in that subsystem called an automobile. So we do a lot of uh, network conformance testing as well for the OEMs and a lot of subsystem integration and testing as well. So essentially you help those computers talk to each other and... and and make sure they comply. Comply. <laughs> right. So that as a driver, I can just get in and everything works. Right. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yeah, and the other, the second pillar we talked about was our telematics. And uh, Dan Law, about five years ago, started the development in this vehicle telematics field, which is sometimes also known as M to M or machine to machine communications. Okay. Um, we developed our first generation data logger to collect data off of the vehicle uh, network mm -hmm. and collect it along with GPS information. And then it gets sent up through the cellular network to data centers. And I mentioned some of the markets that we serve with this device, and that is the insurance industry, which use it for discounted insurance programs, and fleet management, so you can track your assets and your um, route management and things yeah. like that. Our second generation has been in production now for two years. And um, we have uh, these devices installed um, in, I think, about 700,000 vehicles oh, right wow. now. So we've gotten quite a, uh, quite a penetration in this market space. So is this kind of like the little black box that we always hear about? Yes. Yes, okay. it is. Yep. And so, um, again, the, for fleet manager, you want to know if you have 15 or so vehicles that are doing deliveries in a metropolitan area, and you want to optimize your route management and make sure that people are going in the places they're supposed to be and driving safely, uh, this is used. Insurance companies use um, the device for discounted insurance programs, right? so it actually gets real data of how you're driving, when you're driving, and how far you're driving. They also use it for uh, programs like teen safety. Right? We, yeah. we want to protect our young drivers and make sure they're not doing Crazy things. Right, let me take a couple of those on my way out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. Our third period uh, uh, pillar is the automotive ECUs or automotive electronics, where we develop, design, develop, and manufacture electronics for automobiles. Uh, we started this with our joint venture in China, and we uh, serve the OEMs in China, but now we've recently been awarded a number of North American programs, and these Modules do everything from HVAC controls or your heating, ventilation, air conditioning systems yes. to um, indicator modules such as lighting, indicator modules for control. Uh, this is your Prindom indicator, your park, okay. reverse, neutral drive, as well as switches that are just Adjusting. very, very simple switches for dimming and for uh, controlling your lighting in the vehicle. And uh, we are uh, gaining a lot more traction in this space as well with being awarded some more uh, programs here in North America. Okay. Well, that's excellent yeah. to hear again. When automotive industry does well, then our companies that support that industry do very well yes. as, as well. So I'm, I'm excited to hear that. <clears throat> Okay, well, thank you so much for talking to us about the, the services and the products that you are developing here at Dan Law. Um, I talked about the interesting story that you all have as far as your history, but you also have an interesting story with regards to this new facility that you moved into um, late last year. So um, when we come back, we are going to learn more about the themes that occur here at Dan Law. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. We couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. 
Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Welcome back to Corporate Review. We're still here at Dan Law in Novi, and we're getting a tour of the facility because along with it being a great company and a great city, it's also a great story about the theme that they have uh, set up here at the company. So, Tom, tell us a bit about um, the whole setup and the themes that uh, connect uh, Dan Law. Okay, when, uh, prior to moving to this facility uh, last July, we were spread out in four separate suites, and uh, we had very individual islands <laughs> right, for each of our engineering organizations. And so the idea was to bring all of our engineering efforts under one roof. And that way people collaborate a lot better and communication is good and it fosters more of the Danlaw family environment which we've you know, professed for the last 30 years. So when we did the building we said let's not make it that boring engineering look with you know, just the top walls or, or beige walls. We said let's make it more Google-ish so hence all the different colors that we have here. Okay. And uh, you'll see quite a bit of color in the, in the painting and the walls. And um, the other thing is when we did our theme for decorating, we said let's make it a Michigan theme. Let's celebrate the fact that we're in this great state and this great area in southeastern Michigan. So Detroit and Michigan were used as backdrops for all of the, uh, the artwork that you'll see throughout the building. You want to walk and continue yeah. telling me about some of the, the, the artwork? And yeah, so we had a local artist who uh, does a lot of photography in, in Detroit, mm -hmm. and uh, he framed a lot of this artwork. Um, they're all centered around the Detroit and made in Michigan concept. Okay. Uh, we also took and um, had a contest last summer where employees were allowed to submit vacation photos. They had to be in Michigan and our Great Lakes mm -hmm. and um, submit those and they were judged. I think we had about 125 entries mm -hmm. and about 20 of them were selected to be placed around the building as you see the picture of the lighthouse in the background there. Okay, we'll make sure we see some of those before mm -hmm. we leave today. That's Thanks. a great idea. Yeah. <coughs> and, and then we, that way you have your employees feeling like they're part of this company and this move as well. So. Yeah, and we took the conference rooms and we named them after the Great Lakes. The, conference room we started off in is the largest, so we call that the Superior Conference Room. Mm -hmm. And we have the Michigan and Huron uh, that are right next to it, and the Erie in the back here. So we tried to keep that whole Michigan theme uh, throughout the, okay. the building. So. And again, so these are pictures that some of the employees have submitted yep. that have been expanded. Wow, it looks like great artwork that you paid professionals to take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all employee photographs. Wow. That's great. And you know, the, the important thing about an engineering organization, you don't see a lot of machinery or a factory back here making things, it's human capital. And so the focus at Dan Law has always been on the individual and the employee. Uh, so we provided an environment that's fun to work in, um, a healthy environment. As you'll see later, we have an exercise room where employees can use uh, exercise machines and, uh, and get that healthy benefit out of doing so and a team room for gathering, whether it's for lunch or for team meetings as well. That's a very comfortable spot. Excellent. Excellent. So what else will we see while we're walking through? Yeah, so almost every, <laughs> pretty close to every person in an organization has an engineering background, an engineering degree, uh, because we are made up of engineers. Mm -hmm. And so we have a, a cubicle area where um, each of the engineers sit and do their work. Uh, for example, here, this is one of our uh, test tools. We call it the MX Suite, and it's used for this software, hardware, and model in the loop testing that automotive companies have to do. So it's a series of uh, computers and, and software to simulate various subsystems of the vehicle. Okay, great. Well, that is a very great story to hear, especially about the employees, the company that values them for you, the company that wants to make uh, the employees uh, feel like coming to work is a great thing to do, so as well as getting your work done because you're still a, a long-standing company. So we got a, a motto of work hard and play hard. So I know <laughs> with purple walls. Where else can you get that? <laughs> yeah, thank okay, you. so you told us a lot about this building. So let's go take a look at that break room you talked about. Okay. Okay. Yeah, before we get to the break room, I just want to point out a few other uh, things here. We have a number of labs in the facility where we do that compliance testing I was talking about. 
directly for automotive OEM companies. Uh, we can't go in there. Uh, they're restricted access to only those employees that top have secret. access to it. Yes, top secret. <laughs> we, we do a lot of testing, and uh, there are many test benches in these labs. We also have a garage where we can bring vehicles in for testing. Um, a lot of the electronics, uh, you want to get active you know, while the vehicle's running. And so in the winter months, it's not that fun to do that out in the parking lot. So we have a large garage area with an exhaust uh, fan where we can actually have the vehicles running inside the garage and do some of this testing on active vehicles. Okay, great. Yeah. Now we're in the break room at Dan Law where you see it's vibrantly colored and lots of wonderful pictures on the wall representing uh, Detroit history and heritage. So tell us about that. Well, these are actually all food themes if you look at it. Everything from our Fago orange pop, better made potato chips, uh, Buddy's pizza, Stroh's ice cream, Verner's. These are all things of, you know, southeastern Michigan and Detroit and so we have the, uh, the food theme in this room. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of a, is it like a multifunction room? Yeah, it's multifunction. We'll do corporate presentations here for the team. We have uh, regular team meetings to bring people up to speed on new business opportunities or big announcements. And um, we also have uh, the team involved in a program called Team Outreach, where Dan Law employees get to actively participate in giving back to the community through working at a food bank or homeless shelters. And uh, so we do a lot of the planning for those uh, with our, our committee here. Great. And so again, I, time and time again, you've talked about how you include the team, your staff members. So their well-being is very important here. Yes. So I think I saw something when we walked past earlier. What is that you have back over in the corner? Yeah, we want to promote healthy uh, living as well as healthy working environment. So we have provided a workout room where we have uh, a number of machines. We have a treadmill and we have an elliptical machine as well as a stationary bike. So our employees can get the use of a gym without having to get a gym membership right here. And there's a shower room as well that people can use. I agree. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking us through Dan Law today, giving us a history, telling us about the products and the services, telling <clears throat> us about your employee workplace culture, telling us about the history of the, the artwork and the themes you have here. Learned so much today. So again, thank you, Tom. It's been great. Thank you, Lauren. We're at Dan Law where work-life balance is of utmost importance and it shows through their long 30-year history. It shows through the, the care that they put into providing a, a great work atmosphere for the employees right here in the city of Novi. So thank you so much for joining us here at Corporate Review. I'm Lauren Royston, Director of Economic Development for the city of Novi. Remember, come to Novi, invest in Novi. Mm -hmm.